I'm making money <laughs> straight up. Like this is a prize fighting sport. When it's all said and done, no one will care about me no more. So I've got to make the most of it while I'm here. What's going on, you guys? Anthony Joshua is going back to the basics. Anthony Joshua is now training with Errol Spencer's trainer, Derek James. Hit that like button for your boy. Give me that HBO special. That's the Help a Brother Out special. We on the road to 100,000 subscribers. But Anthony Joshua, AJ, finds himself with his back against the wall. Now coming off two losses to Alexander Usyk, the current unified heavyweight champion of the world, AJ finds himself in a total opposite position that he was once in, right? At one point, AJ was the man in the sport of boxing. AJ, one may say AJ was the face of boxing. AJ has so many followers, so many people love AJ all over the world. AJ this, AJ that. AJ was the man at one point. But now, things are far cry from what it used to be. Total 180. And now AJ is hanging on by a thread. AJ is hanging on that cliff with one hand, and nobody's there to grab him but Derrick James. Will Derrick James be able to pull him up and get him right back on top of that mountain that he was once standing on top of. We're going to have to wait and see. But AJ seems to have cut some of the muscle mass. And he's going back to the basics. He's going up against Jermaine Franklin. Dillian White fought, right? Dillian White fought Jermaine Franklin. And in my opinion, I felt that Jermaine Franklin should have got the nod in that fight. Um, but he didn't. And Dillian White got the victory. And now Jermaine Franklin still finds himself in a big fight with Anthony Joshua. But Anthony Joshua is going to have to make a statement against this guy. Um, they say the tickets aren't selling too well. You know, like I said, you guys, this is a total far cry from what it used to be for Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is one of the big big ticket sellers in the sport. He's one of the, the big names, the big draws in the sport, one of the faces of the sport. And now he finds himself struggling to sell tickets. So, yeah, AJ got a lot of work to do. Um, and as you heard at the beginning of the video, he pretty much said, look, man, I'm doing this for the money. I hustle hard. I'm good at it. I was broke at one point. My family was broke. And I know at the end of the day, nobody's going to care about me when it's all said and done. So I got to make the most money out of this while I still can. And that's real talk from AJ, right? AJ got to do it for himself, right? And I think he's in the right place. I think he's in the right place down there in Oak Cliff, Texas, Dallas, over there training with Derrick James. I felt that he should have been with Derrick James years ago. I think that AJ's style and who he is as a fighter... Um, Derrick James would have been a good a good fit for Anthony Joshua, seeming that he's a pretty textbook style fighter. And Derrick James is a pretty much a textbook style coach. Um, him and Errol Spence can get him get him right on track. Right. I think Derrick James's style would be a good fit for Anthony Joshua. That's just my opinion. But we're going to see. I'm not quite sure why he went with Robert Garcia initially. I felt that he should have went with Derrick James around when he was first came to America searching for a trainer. He should have went to Derrick James initially. And then they could have kind of got the ball rolling already and they would have had the chemistry going and everything else that a trainer and a, and a fighter needs when they first start working together. But I think AJ is a good student. I think Derrick James is a good teacher. And I think all they need is some time. So, yeah, they've been working pretty hard. As you can see here on the screen, it says they've been working nonstop. Um, AJ... I'm rooting for AJ, you know. I'm rooting for AJ. I'm rooting for him to come back. I'm rooting for him to get back on top and to be mentioned amongst the Tyson Furies, the Usyks, and even the Wilders of the world like he once was um, some years ago. So, yeah, man, we're going to see what AJ can do. Um, he's going back to the basics, his physique. You know, he's cutting down trees. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he put the weights down um, and, and really work on the game planning, um, strategies, and things of that nature, right, and also conditioning. You know, he's down there in Oak Cliff, Texas. It's going to be the inferno. It's going to be really, really hot compared to the UK. So, yeah, AJ's getting some good work down there in Texas. And hopefully for the rest of his career, um, he stays in America and stays working with Derrick James because I think this is the place to be. Once a, a, a fighter, a foreign fighter, um, gets to a certain point, it's, it seems like they, they t tend to transition to an American coach or come over here anyway. This is what greats like Lennox Lewis they had to do. Um, as many others. So I don't see it being no different for Anthony Joshua, Rob McCracken. You know, it's been time, right? Robert Garcia, uh, not necessarily a right pick for AJ, but I think Derek James is the right coach. It's just a matter of time and if they can get everything going together for April 1st. But we're going to see what AJ got. We're going to see if AJ 
could get out of this little corner that he's boxed in. We could see if AJ could fight his way off that cliff and get back to that top of the mountain that he once was standing on top of. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.